Hello. How do you do? How nice to meet you. How do you do? This is Michael. It's a very unusual accent you've got there. Where are you from? Oh, I'm originally from Newcastle, Michael. <laughs> and Michael's in charge of our uh, internet computer. Hi. Uh, there's knee porn on it. <laughs> Did you understand that? No. Good. <laughs> this is Len. Close your mouth, Len. Would you also like this book? What's it about? Oh, it's about this local fella, what used to be on television, right? Yeah. Uh, but he wasn't very good, so now he's not. <laughs> he went right down, right? And he had a he rock bottom man, and now he's on his way back up, right? Yeah. But, I mean, he'll never get back to where he was, because them days is over, like. Yeah. But uh, he, he's, he's coming back a bit. Oh, well, I don't read that. That sounds depressing. You just saw the petrol, then? Apparently they're opening a Starbucks on Beachy Head. Mm, nice, you know, uh, have a cup of coffee, admire the view, put a bit of spring in your step. Yeah, well, spring in your step's the last thing you need up on a cliff top. I mean, it's a suicide hotspot. Well, Starbucks? How are you going to kill yourself in Starbucks? A shotgun in your mouth? I believe uh, in reincarnation, like, I'd, I'd like to come back as an animal, like a, a dolphin. Dolphins are quite intelligent, Michael. I could jump through a hoop and catch a fish in my mouth. Could you really? Yeah, yeah. yeah can you do this? What's that? There's a dolphin chatting. <laughs> oh, I can do a whale. Ooh! No, no, that, no, that, 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 that's a homosexual. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's, it's a fascinating subject, reincarnation. Yeah, so I always wonder what Len would come back as. <laughs> a badger. I've always seen him as a, as a badger. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine her coming out of a hole, sniffing the air. <laughs> you can smack a heat with a shovel. <laughs> 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 Got a bit of onion? Uh, no, I hate them. Oh. <laughs> it's a very laid-back petrol station, this. Aye. Yeah, you can have a couple of sofas in here, couldn't you? Oh. People come in, relax, you know. You've got your petrol, it's fine. Aye. This week's guest petrol is Texaco. And, uh, next week's guest petrol will be Texaco again. <laughs> yeah, and you've got a great forecourt. You can have a lovely barbecue out there. Oh, no, you're not allowed naked flames on the forecourt. <laughs> It's political correctness gone mad. Uh, I'll tell you what amuses me, Michael. <laughs> really amuses me when, when people criticise my book just because I happen to use the phrase, needless to say, I had the last laugh 14 times. <laughs> uh, because, you know, you and I know in my life to date, I've actually had the last laugh... 25 times. 25 times, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Oh, there's oh. my toad in the hole. There she blows. Oh, oh, lovely one. No, look at that. I bet you never thought that you could make toast in a microwave. That's not toast, Michael. That's hot, floppy bread. So what did you do last night? Oh, I just stayed in and watched a documentary on quicksand. <laughs> then Sonia and I took our tops off and had a cuddle. <laughs> followed by mince and onions. <laughs> Doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> hey, it did for me. I'd done a bit better than a cuddle last night. I had full sex with a woman. <laughs> go on, go on. She was all over his man. I mean, she's a bit older than me, like, she's 60. 60? <laughs> oh, what's wrong with that? Same age difference as you and Sonia. Yeah, that's just wrong. <laughs> you shouldn't do it the other way round. <laughs> we did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so 60's not really old, is it? Mm. I mean, look at Bob Dylan. Aye. She looked a bit like him. Aye. With oh, a big nose and lots of mad hair. Aye, do you know her? No. <laughs> How'd you meet her? Woodside Threshers. She was loading all this booze into that car, and she says, oh, I've had a bit to drink, like, would you drive us home to Cardiff? Cardiff? Hi, <laughs> right. I've come back this morning on a National Express coach. It was sort of like a SAS operation, you know. Uh, your mission, Gantil Cardiff, have full sex with a woman, come back on the coach. <laughs> sort of like uh, Operation Bravo 2-0. In your case, Michael, it was Bravo 6-0. <laughs> by uh, Randy McNabb. <laughs> Randy McNobb! <laughs> so, uh... The Daily Mail. Yep. Arguably the best newspaper in the world. Oh, yeah. Nice Lexus. Yes, I, uh, I love Lexi. <laughs> yeah, I always have a thing I say about Lexus. It's like the, uh, the Japanese, Japanese Mercedes. Mercedes. Yeah, well, I hate Mercs. People who drive them are just sad. <laughs> are you wearing Lynx? Well, smelt. Voodoo. Java. <laughs> Alan Partridge. Sam Moody. Nice to meet you. I wear Tommy Hilfinger. 
<laughs> it, it, it's Hill Figure. No, it says Hill Finger on the bottle. <laughs> Did you buy it down the market? Aye. Ah, that's fine. <laughs> It's amazing, this Lexus connection. You know. Next you'll be telling me you drink Director's Bitter. I've got it coming out of my taps. Have you? I'm joking. Great. <laughs> it's amazing. We both like the Daily Mail. We both drive Lexi. Plural. Plural. <laughs> and uh, we both drink Director's Bitter. It's like the X-Files. Mm. But, 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 but a pleasant X-Files. <laughs> the Lex-Files. God, that's good. <laughs> and I'll shake your hand again. Take a card. Yeah. Oh, you combined the card with the handshake? Yeah. yeah. I used to do that, but uh, I kept getting it wrong. Gave a paper cut to a man from Nestle. <laughs> you own Kitchen Planet on the A416. Very same. It's massive. Oh, 10,000 square feet of sheer kitchens. And I know who you are. Norfolk Knights. The very same. And, uh, and of course, uh, Skirmish. Military-based general knowledge quiz show on uh, digital cable channel UK Conquest that has a <laughs> largest audience share for a digital channel at that time of day in the Norfolk area. <laughs> You, you should de him a cheap kitchen. He wants a kitchen. Michael, Michael, I wouldn't insult this man by asking for a 25% discount on a kitchen. <laughs> You're looking for a kitchen? I can get you a kitchen. Let's talk. Fancy a Flav? Flavia, good call. King of coffees. <laughs> oh, in off the red. How do you take it? Unleaded. Mine's diesel. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, you know, we've got a lot in common. We should go for a proper drink. I mean, you, you, you provide quality kitchens and I provide... Quality radio. And I'll work in a petrol station. <laughs> yeah, but it's just me and Dan that's going for the drink. <laughs> oh, yeah, fine. I'll just get hammered on my own. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll walk you to your Lexus. Right. Should I put these on the tab? Tab? I haven't got a tab. Wish I could. I wish I could afford a tab. <laughs> I, I can't I can afford one. I've got a six-figure income. <laughs> <laughs> hmm.